made a video about how to get the $150 Samsung credit when you pre-order the Note 10 Plus, or I guess Note in general. Uh, one of the things I got was this, the USB-C headset jack adapter. I got the S-View flip cover, which is this guy here. And this is improved from the previous design. It fits well. And it has the neatness here that if you hit the button, see, you can see your stuff. Uh, and you still got to, you know, hold it. If you want to do the camera, you still got to hold it back. But the way this clear design works, if you flip it around, you can still use the camera. Now, it's not going to be as good a picture if you take it away, but sometimes it's just hard to hold these flip cases like this to take a picture. So, if you need to, you could kind of do this and it would be okay. It's not going to be the world's greatest picture, but it won't be a ruined picture like on the old cases, right? Now, one thing is, this is kind of like a, almost like a fabric -y type cover, uh, and I don't like the way it feels. I would rather a slick one, so... I haven't actually used this yet. Maybe it's because I got the black. Maybe the white would be a different texture. I don't know. But I don't like that texture. That's a personal preference. But you can see, I do like how the buttons are cut out. And you can reach the bottom perfectly fine. But yeah, for me, I don't like the physical feel of this thing. Before I got these cases, I was just using this spigen. 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 Spigen case and it uh it's funny because i was a huge fan of it until i got this bad boy the rugged protective cover from samsung and it is the absolute best i love this case so since i've gotten that i have not used this case at all i pretty much stay in this case here uh, it has a little kickstand action in case you want to do this. Right? And of course, you can do it sideways. And it has the upper kickstand in case you want to lean back a little lower. So that's the upper kickstand, lower kickstand. It's just a different angle if you want to set it up. You can't really use the upper kickstand for that, it's not strong enough. But I use it like this all the time. This desk here is where I work at when I'm at home. I work from home, so this is my office, essentially. And I just leave it sitting here like this uh, while I work on my computer. and I can see notifications or whatnot, you know, pretty easily. Side note, Samsung is not good at shipping things. This gigantic box here is what held these cases. So you can see it's as big as my hand this way and it's pretty long here right so you can see it's longer than my hand and oh uh, you're thinking oh that's not that bad they sent three of these so and one was just holding this so three of the same size boxes uh two of them held one of them held both the, the protected cover and the sv flip cover one held just the red leather case and one held just this. So, not a great job of, I mean, it was secure, I guess, but not a great job of space. So I should note, uh, this one works perfectly fine. This is the thickest case of them all, and it works perfectly fine with wireless charging, so you shouldn't have a problem with any of the other ones. And the Spigen Spigen one works perfectly fine with wireless charging as well. I never tried this one because I didn't use this case at all, but it should work fine. This is a really thin case. This is the thickest one. I have no problem using the official Samsung wireless. Oh, no, I'm using the Tilt View to charge this one, and it works just fine. And I've used the Samsung charger as well. So this is the first time getting this one was delayed. So I made a video where you get the 150 bucks back. I got the other two cases fairly quickly. This one and this one were delayed, and it took a long time to get here. So I do like that. There's a little book here. Basically saying put top first. Don't care about that stuff. So it has a nice soft interior. 
actual leather here and then like physical buttons here so i might give this one a shot i have dropped my phone surprisingly enough a couple times in this one with no damages i do have a blemish on that is the built-in screen protector as you can see it's still on here so a couple of those. I just think the built-in screen protector is not very strong. I don't think that will scratch my screen. It's just the built-in screen protector is a little wonky. Well, I don't know how I like that case. But in the back it looks pretty cool. I like the feel of it. I don't know if I like this red outline here. So maybe we got black. It would be normal, but I was already getting the black one of this and of this. So I thought I'd get a different color. Uh, the white would be cool as well. I thought it might show more dirt or scratches better. but I do like the feel. It's nice and thin. But yeah, I don't like this red outline here. So maybe black is the way to go with that. But I don't know. It's kind of cool like this. And of course, you can get your stylus out no problem. You can get your headphone jack in, no problem. See, that's the problem with an all black front. So let's see. So you don't notice this as much. In this case, it looks like it's normal framing, whereas here it's very noticeable. Anyhow, I will give it a shot and we'll see what I think. But I'm predicting I'll be right back in this case because. I love this case, I love the kickstand, and I love the added protection since it is the rugged cover. Supposedly it's drop tested and I don't know what, the, yeah, accordingly tested towards this method, but I don't know how really, how well that really is, but. And this guy. So as you know, the Note 10 does not come with 3.5 millimeter port. I do primarily use Bluetooth headphones now because all these phones are getting rid of it. Like I'm recording this on the OnePlus 7 Pro. It also does not have a headphone jack. So here, a lot of my headphones are Bluetooth. I do use these Bose that don't, are not Bluetooth. I use these for phone calls and I'm wearing them to the gym. This is the Google dongle. I bought these whenever I got the OnePlus 7 Pro that I'm recording on now. And then I ordered the Samsung one. I don't know if there'll be any difference. These you can get on Amazon. These you can't, I don't think, but I'll see. If there is, I'll put a link on here. So it's wider, but it's also newer. And so this is a little different. This is more squarish on the Google one. It's more tapered on the Samsung one and the barrel is a bigger on the Google one again I don't know if there's any audio quality difference by using the Samsung one but I will start using the Samsung one just for shits and giggles right and then I'll just put this one up in case I need it again so essentially that's all of our stuff here right so I will uh, a little side note in case you notice that when I do this, my wallpaper changes. Samsung has a really cool feature they've added here that Huawei had back in the day on the Mate 9 that I had. Dynamic lock screen. So if you use the mobile... I don't know what... If you go to lock screen and then dynamic lock screen here. So you have mine on. You can pick these different uh, images, right? So... Let's say I want to change it to pets. And then every two weeks it changes and updates the artwork for you. So now, a little rabbit. <laughs> That's very funny. That's pretty cool. I did get a fingerprint update last night. 
it works fairly well as long as I'm holding it. When it's on the table like that, it doesn't work very good. But that may be the angle of approach. Anyhow, you know, so there you have it. There's my cases. I'll uh, line them up for you here. All right, so there's my cases. There's the rugged case, just the phone itself, leather case, and S view, and of course this little adapter feller, which I'm gonna start using now. Yeah, so that's why I do. I just leave it on these headphones. And then, all oh mother, I use the Samsung AKG headphones that came with the Note 9 for Bluetooth purposes. And then those have a cord you can plug into, so when I use the Nintendo Switch, I just use that cord itself. But yeah, overall, uh, pretty good cases from Samsung. And of course, I do have, if you want to go cheaper, this guy's pretty solid, this Pigeon one. But if I had to pick mine, it would be this heavy duty boy here. Although I am going to try this one out. If this was a different texture, I would like it better. You may like that texture. I don't. Uh, I like the smoother stuff, right? Like the fabric case for the Pixel I didn't care for. The carbon case for the OnePlus 7 that I'm recording on now is my favorite case ever. But this is a pretty strong contender. You can see it's a little different than previous year. It says the softness on the sides and then the hardness on the back and the soft on the top. Anyhow, I'm going to give a leather face a try, and we'll see how that works. Alright, so thanks for checking me out. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Again, all these should work fine with wireless charging, no problems at all. Alright, thanks.